Welcome to a quick lesson in cloud types. There are two categories of clouds. Category 1 is composed of natural clouds. Some experts identify as many as 27 different types of clouds. They're categorized according to their shape and height. We have high-level clouds such as the cirrus, the cirrus cirrostratus, the cirrocumulus. We have mid-level clouds like the alto stratus, the alto cumulus, and the nimbo stratus. Then there are low level clouds like the stratus and the stratocumulus. Some clouds develop vertically like the cumulus and the cumulonimbus. What a cloud is, is it's actually a visible mass of water or ice particles in the atmosphere. Clouds are formed from water that has evaporated from rivers, lakes, and oceans. Category two is comprised of supernatural clouds. These clouds are glory clouds. We can call them Shekinah clouds. The existence of these clouds is well documented in the Bible. For example, the communal Shekinah cloud into which Moses entered on the mountain to spend 40 days and nights with God. Then there's the audio Shekinah cloud from which the visible, the audible voice of God reverberated. Then you have the protecto Shekinah cloud which settled between God's people and the pursuing Egyptian army giving darkness to the Egyptians and light to the Israelites. You have the Directo Shekinah cloud, which directed or led the children of Israel through the wilderness. Then there's the Abido Shekinah cloud, which dwelt between the cherubim above the mercy seat of the Ark of the Covenant. These clouds are the manifest presence of Yahweh. They're the tangible presence of the maker of heaven and earth. They're a visible expression of the invisible God. The appearance of these clouds is unpredictable. But I have some exciting news for you. There have been some sightings of these clouds in our day. Yes, even in America. Some of the sightings have even been captured on camera. Many are skeptical of the authenticity of these modern day Shekinah clouds. Some individuals are even hostile toward the mention of them. But God is sovereign, and He can do whatever He wants, any way that He chooses. Since when did God stop doing things that we can't understand? As the people of God fill the earth with passionate praise, an atmosphere is being created that is conducive to the formulation of these clouds. And we are forecasting an escalation in the manifest glory of God in these days of darkness. Don't feel any pressure to try to produce these clouds. These clouds develop in no pressure areas where people are preoccupied with Jesus.